Ah! Hey everybody, welcome to The Recoup. I'm Cooper Daniels and I'm a guy that knows a little about a lot and today is your algo rant. Decipher ended yesterday and uh, yeah, a lot of things happened. And today I'm also gonna break down why I think Algorand may be eventually what saves Bitcoin. So I got a lot to talk about folks. Let's get into it. First off, all right. So Decipher closed out yesterday. Great job, folks. It got it kicked off with the mayor of Miami, a guy named Francis Suarez. Francis clearly wants to be president, folks, and he's trying to ride the crypto community right to that glory, glory, glorious position. You know what I'm saying? You guys all know that Miami is sort of Bitcoin city, but it's also sort of Algorand city, folks. Your thoughts may lead you to another place called El Salvador. And El Salvador, Bitcoin is a national currency. You guys know that. We all know that, but maybe you don't know, but you probably do if you're watching this video, that Algorand was chosen as the blockchain infrastructure of El Salvador. So Bitcoin country, El Salvador, American Bitcoin city, Miami, both huge, huge Bitcoin supporters and using the Algorand blockchain as their infrastructure. Folks, Believe me when I tell you the words algo and Bitcoin, we're going to hear those words together a lot more in the future. All right. I want to talk more about that in a bit, but let's let I'm just trying to let you know that's the way it started. The feel was like, OK, Miami, Francis Suarez wants to be president. He accepts Bitcoin for his paycheck. He accepts algo for his paycheck. This is interesting. One of the most recent things that we heard that's huge is that Borderless Capital is creating another Algorand focused fund. This one will be $500 million to support the Algorand DeFi ecosystem. Folks, I mean, $500 million is not a little. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of money. And then we also had a dude named uh, Matt Zhang, right? Yeah. Matt Zhang from Hive Mind Capital Partners. They are creating a $1.5 billion crypto fund. And Matt Zhang is a former executive at Citi. And uh, he's teaming up with a former executive or analyst at uh, Goldman Sachs. And the Goldman Sachs guy is going to be focused on the gaming and, and all that, the play to earn type of thing. But the point is, is that they've created this one and a half billion dollar fund for crypto, these huge banker guys. And their first partner is Algorand to help with the tech and the infrastructure and everything else. So what you were seeing, that's smart money, folks. Two examples of very smart money. These are major things and they, um, they're indicative of one thing. And I believe what they highlighted at the end of Decipher, is, I believe is gonna be a major catalyst for way more money coming into the Algorand ecosystem. Right. And that's centered around a lot of what is happening with Planet Watch and Climate Trade. You're like, what? You probably, maybe you watched Decipher and you saw the end and you're like, all right, yeah, carbon credits and offsetting carbon credits. That's not the big splashy news that I was looking for, uh, Kelly. You know what I mean? But <laughs> if you don't understand, let's see if I can help you out a little bit. When it comes to these massive amounts of institutional money, they have a lot of pressure to be investing in ESG products environmentally friendly products. They can't be deploying. They have a mandate from their investors from everywhere they look. They have to be environmentally conscious. Now, we all know that Algorand is a carbon negative blockchain, but some of this stuff that they are building, they are going all in. Planet Watch teamed up with Miami to monitor their air and be the first city that they are fully focused on. And um, Climate Trade created a green treasury. And this is an oracle that's going to allow you to offset all of your carbon and a rolling um, real time type of way. There was so much their Planet Watch and Climate Trade are teaming up. And, you know, like this whole carbon um, offsetting, these carbon credits, like, I'm sure everybody's kind of like, okay, I know what carbon credits are, but what, like, what is a carbon credit? You know what I mean? Like, well, carbon credit is basically a, a credit for one ton of carbon. It's a credit that is, signifies that one ton of carbon was pulled from the atmosphere. And so basically companies have to, for all the carbon that they emit, they have to buy these carbon credits to offset it, right? 
and this is the future. And and they are in Algorand in some ways is sort of gamifying it through Planet Watch and Climate Trade. They're gonna have like a green climate DAO. You're gonna be able to use planet tokens that you went um, that you earned for having a Planet Watch sensor. You're gonna be able to use those planet tokens to buy carbon credits from Climate Trade. And you know, you maybe you're a wealthy individual, maybe you're Leonardo DiCaprio and you have to fly all the time, but you really care about the environment. Well, these people, you know, you can be like, all right, I fly this amount of this time and you could be purchasing carbon credits to offset your carbon footprint. You know, look, there's just a lot, but the point is from a cold, more realistic thing is that Algorand is positioning itself of being the anti-anti-environmentalist blockchain. Now, carbon negative is huge. This is a way for, Climate Trade has created a way for Algorand in general to maintain its carbon negative posture in real time. It's all very cool. And most importantly to my point is that it's gonna be very, very desirable for big money, for smart money, for these people with all of these ESG pressures on them to invest in Algorand. And that's what's happening. All right, you see it with this hive mind thing, you see it with borderless capital, you see it with a lot, and you're gonna see it moving forward. It's a huge deal, all right? You know, some other things that we heard were AlgoFi. AlgoFi, a decentralized banking platform where you're gonna be actually able to deposit fiat to it directly. You're not gonna have to go through all these third parties and all that. You're gonna be able to deposit your US dollars or you know whatever your currency is or whatever currency they support into AlgoFi and then start your decentralized banking um, journey there. That's happening sometime in December. It's a huge deal. You know, at Decipher, I heard some talk about, you know, Algorand becoming the chain of chains, the only chain that is necessary because it's the most efficient, the cheapest, the fastest, all of that. And eventually tech in the market chooses the most efficient and cheap thing. It always chooses the best and it will consolidate over there. Now, I don't happen to really agree with that because I believe that what is happening, and we saw it with COVID when we all got locked in, um, we started all to kind of play games with the investments, you know, Wall Street bets, and and it started to gamify the stock market. And then obviously crypto got boomed and it started because of the gaming aspect of it, the game part of it. And as we sort of, you know, uh, go more into virtual spaces, games and lottery and gambling and all of that stuff is going to be a major source of entertainment and fun in a future where we're going to spend more time in virtual realities, right? So I don't really believe, I think that, you know, Algorand becoming the chain of chains, the only chain, I think that's really boring. And I think that, you know, collectively as a people will reject that because we want the more exciting, um, you know, diverse option. That's what I think. I think that that's what will end up happening. But that does not mean that Algorand and uh, Bitcoin, I believe, are at the top. So I said that I wanted to talk real quick about why I think Bitcoin is going to be saved by Algorand. Now, there is something called Lightning Network. And then, you know, Strike is a, is a company that uses the Lightning Network. And that's all fine and good. But as a personally, as a Bitcoin bull, which I 100% I'm a supporter of Bitcoin, I'm a holder of Bitcoin, and I believe that Bitcoin has a huge part in the future. I don't believe it's going away. I believe what Bitcoin has done is unique and it cannot be undone and it can't be done again. This is the major thing that I think is that the network effects that it has, no single point of failure and there is true decentralization. You can't just create that it happened before they could stop it and they can't stop it anymore. Bitcoin is incredible. Now they're gonna try to stop it and they're gonna try to slow it down and they're gonna use environmentalism and its environmental impact in some ways rightfully against Bitcoin. But the thing is, is that I believe that Algorand can be used as a scaling solution for Bitcoin as well. And I believe it's going to, you know, you have things like AlgoMint that just went live on mainnet and you're now able to deposit your Bitcoin at Algomint and get wrapped Bitcoin and explore the DeFi, uh, you know, the Algorand DeFi ecosystem in that way um, with your Bitcoin. And there's obviously gonna be other solutions there for you with Bitcoin and Algorand. And Algomint's doing really exciting things. I'm actually gonna be talking to Michael Cotton from Algomint this week 
um, and I'm gonna ask him a lot of questions. I love talking to this guy, super nice guy, super smart, and doing some major things that I'm interested in, which is you know gold and Bitcoin, I love that shit. Okay, great. So the deal is this, there's a reason. The first country to make Bitcoin a national currency chose Algorand to be the blockchain infrastructure of the country, all right? There's a reason why Bitcoin City, Miami, chose Algorand also to work with. You were gonna see this happen over and over and over and over again. You're gonna see more and more institutional money flood in to, the, to Algorand. You're gonna see more and more governments build using Algorand. And yeah, you're gonna see CBDCs built on Algorand. You're gonna see huge amounts of capital go to the best tech and the smartest minds with the connections to MIT and everything like that, that's carbon negative, that can make everybody happy. All of their investors, all of the people that have to have, have these certain mandates are gonna be like, yes, Algorand, great. And I believe in a Bitcoin future and I believe that Algorand in some way, some shape, way, or form is going to be responsible for saving Bitcoin on some level. But I also don't believe that Algorand is gonna become this all encompassing, only chain in existence because we're just as a people are going to reject that we're going to it's just not going to everyone's not going to just want to go move on from crypto because now it's boring because now it's all algorand or maybe bitcoin and those are the only two things and it just becomes a small part i believe we're gamifying everything and we're creating all these different worlds and it's going to be huge and be connected and it's going to be crazy so, but, if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and yeah thank you for watching do your homework